In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a free add-on that comes with Blender to make these gemstones. Delete the default cube. To access add-ons, it's the File menu, User Preferences. Click the Add-ons button. There are lots of add-ons that come with Blender. Some are enabled by default. They're divided into categories. The category we want is the Add Mesh category. And the add-on we want is the Extra Objects. Click the white triangle and there is a link to the Blender Wiki for documentation for the add-on. The Extra Objects add-on is really a set of add-ons grouped together and I'm interested in the Gemstones add-on, so clicking the link we get the documentation for that. To enable the add-on, simply click the tick box. You can permanently enable it by saving as default, but be careful with this button as it saves everything. By their nature, you most probably only need them occasionally, so to enable them for the session is most probably sufficient. Close the User Preferences dialog box. Now in the Add menu, Mesh, there are the extra objects. But before I add a gemstone, I'm going to look at this Wikipedia article on diamond cuts, and in particular this diagram, and see if I can reproduce some of the diamond cuts. Going back to Blender, Add, Mesh, Extra Objects, Gemstones, Diamond. In the tool shelf are the properties of the most recent action. Adding a diamond, I'm going to change segments to 4, and zooming in, and rotating, dragging the middle mouse button, straight away we have one of the diamond cuts, the table cut. The classic diamond shape, the point cut shape, can also be made using the add-on. If I drag on the table radius and shrink it down as low as it will go, and set the crown height, the height above the girdle, to one blender unit, and the pavilion height, the height below the girdle, to one blender unit, we get the classic diamond shape, which is an octahedron. This shape can be made in one go using the regular shapes add-on. I'm going to reset the settings and set the number of segments to 8 and use this shape for my ruby. Dragging on the tip of the green arrow to move the gemstone to the side. Add, mesh, extra objects, gemstones. Now if I hover over gem, it says create an offset faceted gem and we get a nice gem shape with the cuts similar to but not exactly the same as the old European cut. Using the defaults I'm going to move that to the side to use as my emerald and I'm going to add mesh, extra objects, gemstones, gem again and this time I'm going to change the number of segments to 12 and I'm going to alter the pavilion height, reduce it to 0.6 and use that shape for my diamond. Change shading from solid to textured. There's a problem with the top faces not rendering. When I see a problem like that I think of recalculating face normals. To do that go from object mode into edit mode. Mesh menu, normals, recalculate outside. Notice the shortcut key is Control N. The tab key toggles back from edit mode into object mode. Select the other gem, tab into edit mode, Control and N to recalculate normals, and tab back into object mode. The gem on the end was made using the diamond add-on, but I'm going to make it a ruby. I'm going to click the material button, add a new material and call the new material ruby. Now there are many settings you can experiment with for transparent materials. The only one I'm going to change is I'm going to tick transparency and set the alpha channel to be 0.6, which is 60% opaque. Now the real-time renderer doesn't show transparency, but if I click the plus to open up the properties panel and open up display properties and change the real-time renderer from multi-texture to GLSL, that will show transparency. The only other thing I'm going to change is the diffuse colour, which I'm going to make red, red full on, and green and blue off. The 
gemstone at the end I'm going to make an emerald but instead of clicking the add new material button I'm going to click the browse material button and select the ruby material now I'm going to click the plus to create a new material and it will inherit all the properties of the ruby material I'm going to rename the material emerald and change its color from red to green the diamond in the middle again I'm going to click the browse material button pick up the root material then click the add material button and rename the material diamond set the diffuse color if I increase the green we get yellow and if I increase the blue to about 0.2 we get a whitey yellow and the other thing I'm going to change for the diamond I'm going to make it more transparent I'm going to set the alpha channel to 0.4 40 cent opaque I'm going to toggle into quad view to add some more lights to brighten things up select a light shift and D to duplicate move the duplicate shift and D to duplicate move the duplicate shift and D again zoom back in the front view shift and D to duplicate I'll move the duplicate down, shift and D to duplicate, and that should be enough. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.